This is, that's what she said, and I'm back. I needed that break. I needed that break so I could take a drink, because I'm, I'm not allowed to take a drink uh, and slurp on the microphone. It upsets people. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff right there. This is my, J is for Jenna's awesome cup day. That's right. I have so many coffee cups. So many coffee cups, so many outfits, so many t-shirts. I am ready for this TV thing. Anyway, talking about Will Smith and his family, they're all sitting around talking about their eating habits, talking about how gassy they all are. Will Smith's family is gassy, farty bunch of people. They're just like us. How exciting. But for him in discovering that by changing his diet, he eliminated his need for high blood pressure medication. What? And I did not realize this, but apparently, I mean, it's the same thing as women, okay, say mom or grandma gets breast cancer and has to have a mastectomy. And then daughter, granddaughter goes to the doctor and they say, well, you know, genetically, most likely you're going to get it too. So let's just cut your boobs off now. What? What? That is... I believe malpractice. Again, genetics change. Genetics, and I know that's hard to believe, but the fact is is that they're now showing science that our genetic structure does over our lifespan change a little bit based on our environment and based on our living, how we live. So you're not doomed to a condition because your parents or grandparents had it. So please, no worries on that. And why do I bring all of this crap up? Getting back to eco-anxiety. I'm so anxious. So we listen to little Greta Thunberg, who is an amazing performer. And I could say that as a girl with her condition that she apparently has that I was not aware of, but you could tell when you were looking at her that something was a little off. That she has done amazingly and is performing well in high pressure situations considering she has, is it Asperger's? Autism or Asperger's? I believe it's Asperger's. Honey with an eye, I know you're gonna shut me down. You're gonna get so upset with me, but I can't pull it up right now, okay. So Fox News, all this got brought to my attention. I'm going to bring it around, bring it around again. Conversation in 15 different directions, but I will bring it around town. Bring it at home. Fox News issues an apology yesterday. Because they had a guest on their show. A guest came on the show and made comments that Fox News felt that they needed to apologize for. Because why? Because Greta is a minor. Greta is under the age of 18. So if you say anything about Greta, plus Greta's got a condition. So now if you said anything about Greta, therefore, you are a meanie, bad, bad person. That's why we, that's why we trot her out in front of the cameras. Because we care so much about her well-being. Her parents. That is child abuse. Okay. So a conservative political commentator and podcast host, Michael Knowles, he was on Monday night, he was talking about meatless diets and its impact on the environment. Like Will Smith's son says he's a vegetarian. He tried being vegan, it didn't work for him, now he's a vegetarian. While he was a vegetarian, he got very sick. And we talked about this, beans, soy, tofu, all those things. If they're not prepared correctly, you may think you're eating healthy, all green, no meat. It's not necessarily better for you. You've got to make sure you prep your food properly. So here's this whole idea of if we have less cows, uh, less cattle, less ranches, less land, less cow farts, all of this that goes into the meat industry, then it's going to be better for the world and better for the ecosystem. Entire ecosystems have collapsed. Okay. So they bring this guy on to talk about this. And he says, none of that matters because the climate hysteria movement is not about science. Amen. 
has never been. It's pseudoscience. Did you know? Like I talked about the connected universe. Look up Nassim Harriman. It's hard to spell. Reach out to me if you want me to send it to you. I might tweet it. I don't know. Anyway, did you know that there are scientists that have now proven that there is living cell tissue inside of the bone marrow of dinosaurs? But we're being told that dinosaurs are billions of years old. Therefore, the world has to be 3.4 billion years old. Because science said so. Did you know that carbon dating is flawed? And there are scientists that can prove that carbon dating is flawed, but they've just decided they were going with it. And the universities can, the professors that come up with those theories. Something that flies in the face of the theory of evolution that they've all had to get behind. The guy with finding the living uh, cells, dinosaur cells, he started his, he had to start his own institute to continue the real work, real science exploration because the university in California that he worked for canned him because they didn't like the information that he found. Now, I'm not going conspiracy theory on this. I'm not getting deep in the dirty videos on YouTube like some people on the network do. I should be on Odyssey. No, I'm just telling you real truth. The science is out there. You just have to dig really, really deep to find it because the media is not going to talk about it. So the idea, he says, okay, so as we know, this has nothing to do with science. If it were about science, it would be led by scientists rather than by politicians. And then here it is. And a mentally ill Swedish child who is being exploited by her parents and by the international left. Oh! Oh! Mentally ill? So Fox News comes out and says, the comment made by Michael Knowles, who was a guest on the show tonight, was disgraceful. We apologize to Greta Thunberg and to our viewers. And then they also said that they're never going to have him on again. He has, a, he has a podcast, The Michael Knowles Show. I want everybody to follow him now. It's on The Daily Wire. <laughs> everybody find him. Michael Knowles, K-N-O-W-L-E-S, Michael Knowles. Michael is spelled the normal way, which is the A before the E. Never understood that. So where did his comment come from? So apparently the Thunbergs, as they are exploiting their child, have a book. There's a book out about Greta. And in the book, the parents mention that she has a Asperger's. I know you're mad at me for saying Asperger's. <laughs> She's got the Aussies. And this was, uh, oh, they shared it on a Facebook post. And saying it's not a disease, it's a gift, it's helped her become who she is today. Let's be clear. This girl has a condition, has been dealing with this condition, and her parents have started teaching her because where else would she get this information her parents are manipulating a child with a mental disorder creating this fear and anxiety and anger inside of her and then using it to enrich themselves she's become huge on the internet getting paid for every click and then she's going in front of all of these cameras and doing all of these interviews and showing up at all these big things and mom and dad get to stand there right behind her wearing their Antifa t-shirts. This is despicable. I didn't know how deep it went. I thought it was just a couple of hippie parents that started their daughter on the idea of, in addition to what the school districts are also teaching. I mean, we're talking about Sweden. You know anything that we get upset about as far as climate change, education in the United States, in Sweden, take it tenfold. So you've got what the schools are teaching them. You've got what, and then the hippie parents going right along with it, la, la, la. And then the girl at some point, probably around 13 or 14, just came into her own in really embracing this idea and doing her own thing with it. And then the parents are supporting her. But now I see that this child has a disease. She has a, a, a disability. She has issues. Just in dealing with life, in coping with day-to-day -day anything. And these parents are absolutely destroying her. Making her a mess. That 
that is is it is it's child abuse it's child abuse i think i think once they came over here to dc to trot her in front of all the cameras they should have been hotlined and they should have been arrested but no everybody's celebrating them and in the meantime this guy now he worded it badly he worded it badly what did he say he said mentally ill that's not really what it is is it and yet all these people who want the red flag laws for mental illness for owning a gun would they want to include something like Asperger's on those lists I think they might so poor Greta as angry as it made me watching this girl speak I thought she was just a melodramatic pathetic teenager with a bad diet but now I see there's something extra there. There's something else there. And this child is truly, truly being used. And it makes me sad. So with that being said, I want to talk about something that makes me happy. This is my, uh, this is my end of the show. Here you go. And this is in Pinellas County. So it's right here. Good old Tampa Bay. Florida man. All right. So uh, this guy, Bob, and his uh, fiance sleeping in the uh, bedroom of their home when she heard noises on the other end of the house. Bob, Bob, I heard something. Go check it out. Then she went to investigate. I'm not kidding. That's what it says. All right. So she had discovered that the, their office door in their home was closed, which wasn't normal. Um, and whenever they open up the door, here's what they discovered. There was a dude in there. Oh my God, Bob, there's somebody in the house. There's somebody in our house. Oh my God. So what they found was 25 year old Dylan and he used to live in the home. And he told police that he was there because he used to live there and he feels at home there. And these people are like, get out of my house. And he's like, but I feel at home. They tracked him down, and he's under arrest. $10,000 bond. Look. He felt at home. And, and what's yours is mine, and what's mine is yours, right? I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's what she said. Every news story comes with a happy ending. Graduation parties, bar mitzvahs, weddings, bat mitzvahs. it's all coming up fast. Have you found the entertainment yet? You need a DJ, a KJ, or an MC with experience, quality equipment, and a killer playlist. You need the world. World of audiovisual event services. Waves. Visit musitech.net and book your Waves entertainment now. Waves. Fuse AV, the fusion of today's technology with custom design. Ease your business into the 21st century while retaining your company's style and branding. We custom design audiovisual solutions for businesses big and small. You'll be so successful your wife will finally quit her job and make sandwiches like she's supposed to. Ow! Educated in sound engineering with decades of experience, visit musitech.net. Visit musitech.net for more information about Fuse AV.